All right, have and have not fans. This is my first video after Christmas, December 26. And uh, yeah, it was great to take a mini vacation, if you will, because it's been a few days since I posted anything on the channel. But it's the holiday season, so what could you expect? Um, I actually did record like five videos while I was at home, but way too much background noise. So here I am re-recording pretty much everything I did record. Um, I actually had a Christmas video about, you know, like, you know, hey, what if Tyler Perry did like a Christmas story-esque kind of episode? Like, you know, what ghosts would visit what characters and stuff like that. But yeah, I am glad to be back in my apartment where it's peace and quiet. I'll just leave it at that. But in this video, we're going to talk about, you know, somewhat of a grim kind of topic considering we just had the holiday season. And it's whether or not, you know, Candace Young will be assassinated, you know, as she's making the journey to first lady status. And I've already done videos in regards to, you know, will the Malones kill Charles? Will Charles get assassinated and things of that nature? But, um, you know, I never really talked about Candace in that position. And one must think, you know, it is a possibility based off the amount of enemies she's obtained, you know, as the show progressed. And the real question is whether or not, isn't whether or not she would get assassinated, it would be who would be the person to hire, you know, a person to actually try to shoot Candace. Now, keep in mind, that video I did about Landon and Veronica teaming up to sabotage Candace, it's gotten some great comments on there. Uh, with people agreeing with the fact that, yeah, uh, Landon wants Candace out of the way to get to Charles. And Veronica just doesn't like Candace to begin with. So those two together could actually cause quite, quite a bit of damage to uh, Candace Young. Now, you know, when it comes to the assassination attempt, I did suggest the Malones due to the fact that they are looking to potentially send the message if necessary. And what bigger way to send a message than to assassinate the president elect who happens to be an african-american now you could also make the argument that the malones don't that they they wouldn't want that much heat on their tails because remember um what was it the secret service or fbi whichever one was popping up in the room when benny was arrested um they were saying that the malones are currently under investigation for acts of terrorist or acts of terrorism so i don't think it would be a smart move for the malones to actually do any sort of bombing or shooting uh, when the president elect is in the area well given uh, keep in mind that i i know the malones know a lot but i don't think they know that charles is planning to temporarily move his family him and his kids down to georgia and savannah you know temporarily before they go back to the white house that way you know things don't look so awkward uh from him moving from i think he's from where michigan or wisconsin to the white house so he decides let me go move down to georgia that's where, you know, me and Candace will be making public appearances. Then we go up to the White House. So I don't know if that's a great idea. I feel like Charles doing that might actually put a, you know, bullseye on him. But due to the fact that we had photos with, you know, him and Landon in the Oval Office and him with the Jeffrey Owens character in season seven, I don't know if he's going to be killed off anytime soon. That's just my prediction with that. But when it comes to the assassination attempt, you know, uh, the Malones again could be sending a message. But Keep in mind that Landon being, you know, pretty much the right hand man for Charles knows everything, you know, forwards and backwards in regards to the organization. So who better to come up with some sort of situation where uh, a sniper might be able to bypass Secret Service without anyone else knowing? I mean, they're like, you know, hey, if you stand on this particular building, it would be like a JFK scenario. I mean, you never know how this plays out. I mean, I also did a video. I'm, maybe I didn't do a video on this particular topic by itself, but I think I mentioned it in passing. You know, what if somebody tries to assassinate Charles or Candace or something along those lines, then Landon has a change of heart at the last second and takes a bullet for Charles. Um, you know, could, I could imagine, could you imagine this? What if, let's say, um, at the 11th hour, you know, um, Charles and Candace are about to get on stage and, um, you know, everything is set up between Veronica and Landon that somebody is arranged to have her shot. That way, you know, Charles will be all Landon's. Do you think it will be a scenario where I and I've seen this play out in so many movies and shows before? Let's say, you know, Landon is all, you know, smug, ready to let this operation go into action. 
And then let's say Charles actually has a moment where he talks to Landon, pretty much, you know, pouring his heart out to Landon as a friend. It's like, look, you're one of the best things that's ever happened to me. You know what? You 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 know, just not be, not saying that he's gay. That's not what I'm saying here. I feel like Charles will actually say some very heartfelt things that he really couldn't be where he is today about Landon. Pretty much, you know, reassuring him that no matter what happens, you will always be like my friend, you know, brother, that kind of thing. Uh, it's not one of those scenarios where like a like when a girl tells a guy that's crushing on her, it's like you're a brother to me. I don't think that having those words come out of Land uh, Charles's mouth would be, um, you know, heart crushing to Landon. I just make it. I just think it's one of those things where Landon will truly have a change of heart because he'll realize that if I have Candace shot, that's going to break Charles to pieces. And how can I live with myself knowing that I did that to him and his heart after he just poured his heart out to me? And then for whatever reason, he tries to call it off, but it doesn't work because, you know, Veronica doesn't have a heart when compared to, uh, you know, somebody like, let's say, a Landon or Jeffrey. So I think that it is possible that if there is an assassination set up, Landon might try to botch it at the last second because, you know, what Charles said to him. I know it's kind of like, a, well, Jeremy, you're late. You're, you're making it sound way too good to be true. I'm just trying to paint the scenario of, oh, there's obviously a reason why somebody would want to have her assassinated, not even counting the likes of Jim, Rocky, so many other people she's conned in the past. But I'm just saying that it would really be interesting if um, Landon and Veronica, you know, work together on this. And then, you know, Landon proving that he does have a heart at the end. I'm not saying he's ever proven to be heartless, but... The most annoying Landon has been to me is like, you know, when he was drunk trying to force, you know, his way on Jeffrey. That was in the same episode that Justin was in the bed and he ended up being choked by him. That kind of thing. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this. Do you think um, there will be some sort of assassination attempt on Candace? Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.